Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. You, um, I don't see anything though. Oh, I forgot to screen share because I'm smart. Hang yeah. On. You know what? Oh, that's good. No, uh, where are you? Where are you? You know what? Get back here. Just get back here. Stop screwing everything up. This is all. So I don't think we should start the recording yet. <laughs> well, I already did. So this is your fault. Well, you can cut all of this out. Oh, wait, fix screen... it in post. We'll fix it in post. Hang on. Which screen am I? Fuck. Hang on. Okay. Can you see now? <clears throat> I guess I really don't need to have this in, huh? Can you, can you see the game? Um. Oh, yeah. Now I can see. Okay. Yep. All right. So was, there was like a little delay. All right. Well, it should be okay. Wee. Okay. So yeah, the only thing mm -hmm. you missed is um, there was an opening screen with some music that said there was there used to be a ritual that people could do where they isolated themselves all day, didn't eat or drink, and then at midnight they could go out and perform these different ritual or they could perform this ritual which would let them kind of see what was going to happen to them in the coming year. That's literally all you missed. It was like five sentences. I don't even think they were proper sentences. So, <laughs> all right. Was it a black screen? Yeah, black wow. screen with, yeah. <laughs> all right. So, yeah. Okay, well, that's, I mean, you know, we, we could add that in if we really wanted to. Eh, I don't care. All right. I, give, I do not give enough of a shit. All right. So, so this is your house. And I have mm -hmm. played this before, so this should go pretty quickly because I know where I'm going. Um, I'm let's see. All right. So here's the box that I was. Yeah. Okay. We'll get to that later. I hate that box. That box is dumb. <laughs> box is stupid. <laughs> All right. So Ooh, this is um. It's kind of like a, a cutout. What's that book called? Like the very hungry caterpillar kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's got yeah, that look to it. Yeah, it's very stylized. I love I love the art in in this game. And it's going to make me go backwards already because it hates me. All right. So yeah, the most obnoxious part of the game is trying to just navigate because everything looks the same. <laughs> oh, this reminds me very much of um, another game. Oh, crap. What was that one called? Um, oh, here we go. All right. I'll, I'll remember it later. But it's like you did something similar to this when you were like shifting back and forth between screens. Yeah. All right. So the first thing we have to do is we have to go into this windmill, which is at the very back of the map. And actually, there is a where is it? There is a map here. I guess this is showing me. This is showing the places that we've that I just walked through trying to get here. Um, <laughs> and so yeah, you're and you're playing as this young man, and you're going to meet your girlfriend. So that's what we're about to do. There she is. Wait, wait, where's the young man? Uh, you don't ever actually. God damn it, Katie, get off my screen. Um, <laughs> you don't ever actually see him. Um, oh, okay. You find out his name later, but like all right now, all you know is actually. I think if I clicked on the cottage, it would have told me to go you're find his girlfriend. Dude. Anyway, so here's the girlfriend. So we're gonna click on her. There you are. I've been waiting for you all day. Aw, oh, she's this, smiling. This is what that screen looked like. She's happy. No. I can only... Should not go... Well, I don't know. It looks more like a smirk. Uh, well, whatever. Shouldn't go outside without a hat on a cold day like this. It'll <laughs> freeze your ears off. I'm quite she's fond sassy. of... She's sassy. I don't like her. I'm quite fond of the person those ears belong to. Did anyone see you coming here? All right. Smile is Whoa, gone. wait a minute. What's the <laughs> fifth degree? Third degree? Wow. <laughs> I just freaking jumped right ahead. <laughs> I'm not ashamed of you. I like you very much. But we come from different worlds, so there's a little bit of trouble in paradise. Wait a minute. Who Who's talking right now? She is. I'm so confused. Yeah, no. This the, ah, girl, the okay. girl's talking. So is every... Are all the words on the screen never you? No, you never talk. You never see oh, yourself wow. and you never okay. talk. Right. Yeah. Hello, Squall. Final thing, eight. <laughs> right, That's who you are. You're Squall from Final Fantasy VIII. Well, it all makes the sense now. Okay. So he's waiting for my answer. I said I'd give it to him next year. This is the last day of this year. Oh. Mmm. Being unfair, this isn't any easier for me. Oh, you weren't kidding when you said Trouble in Paradise. Yeah, it, this this game is kind of dark, I'm gonna warn you right now. 
Oh, well then. I don't like it when you're like this. Calm down. <clears throat> Whoa. Yeah, so right, the, your, your character kind of has some anger problems. What the? Okay. What <laughs> kind of relationship is this? So, okay, so you're walking. That's what. That's the thing where they do the ritual and then they're able to go out and they kind of run into these like different creatures and stuff that give them tasks. And then that kind of moves them forward and if they do everything right, then they get to see their future. So it's called year walking. Okay. And apparently the girl's cousin did that before and it didn't end well, but we don't find out what happened there. Well, freaking cliffhanger. I know, right? Promise me you won't do anything <laughs> foolish. Lies. I'll do all the things foolish. All of the foolish things. Can't stop me, bitch. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, now she's telling me what to do. She is a sassy, bossy lass. Yeah, all right. So she has nothing more to say to us. She wants us to leave. Yeah, she's like, be gone. <laughs> so now we have to wiggle right. our ass all the way backwards and try and find our house again. So she that we has don't... banished you back to your own house. Snap. Yeah. I didn't even meet her at her house. I mean, it was we were at a cottage. I don't even know if it was her cottage. I don't know whose cottage that was, man. It was shifty. How do I get See, out of here? Seems Hang on, like, my uh, even though he's the one... Okay, I need to go down. Where's the pants? She's the... Wait, <laughs> I was going somewhere with that. I don't know where My you brain. were going. I don't know who you are. I don't know either. It's fine, though. Alright, I have to go down, and then I have to go up. And then I have to go down. God damn it. Alright. <laughs> then I have to go down, and then I think I have to go over. There's the box. Okay. And then I go down. There's my house. Okay. Ah. Yeah, they're at opposite ends of the map. Alright. Good grief. She's so far away. I think I already know what he's going to find out after that year walk. Alright. There's like a weird, like, thump, thump, thump noise. I can't hear it. I didn't, I didn't notice it the first time I played. Wait, oh. is there actually oh. something on the screen? Alright, I was like, what is that? I forgot about this. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, there's things hidden, and then when you click on them, they light up. Um, seems kind of trippy. Oh, that's super cool! It's spelling it out! I'm okay with this. It's pretty friggin' artsy fartsy. I like and it, it. And it plays different to it plays different notes when you click on them, too, so it's kind of cool. Oh, uh, what? All right, so it's I guess it's nighttime now, and this is where we actually start doing the year walk. So, Wait, so this is where the ceremony or the thing starts? Yeah. So as soon as you walk out of your house, it starts. So just what we like no introduction. Nice. Yeah, I know. It's it's <laughs> it's very like just you 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 just have to wander around and like oh, figure what, it out what, as you whoa. go. Yeah. Wait a minute, we're not just gonna skirt over that. What the frick is that? That is... There's a bunch like of a things... There's a, uh, well, sitting on a... Uh, well, sitting well, on uh, a pitchfork. What's going on there? <laughs> well, okay. Oh, I thought you said a penis sitting on a pitchfork. I was like, well, uh, alright. I don't know what kind of penis you've seen, but... Penis. There is an F in there. Alright, well... <laughs> alright. So yeah, there's there's these symbols and stuff. There's there's different clues hidden throughout the game, and so you you really do need to keep a piece of paper and a pencil for playing. You you are not going to beat this game if you don't have something to write with nearby. It's just not going to happen. They should like include that in the price. <laughs> well, I got it on <laughs> just Steam, here. so I'm not sure. Here's a notepad. Yeah. Well. So yeah, so there's a bunch of different symbols that are going to be on the trees, and I actually, I still have the piece of paper from the last time I played this game sitting on my desk, so I've actually got well, everything- Well, push that aside, because- you, you want me to just play it? Oh my god, you want me to play it from start? Oh my god, it would take forever, dude. Well, look, this is a first <laughs> for me, so- 
Or, oh, okay, fine. You can well, use I the can. paper. Just don't make it seem so obvious that you're using the paper. Like, I well, want to no, be immersed. Here, put, no, I'll put the paper. Here, just, no, here, here. Just let me put the paper aside. I'll start over. Oh, I can, I all can right, totally then. do that. Thank you. I mean, you know. <laughs> I, can, I can do it, man. I mean, I was the one right. complaining earlier about puzzle games aren't fun if you know the answers. So here, let me Challenge find some Challenge accepted. All right. I just need some paper. Ah, where's my paper? Here, all right, I got some paper. All right, so I know that I'm going to need this later, so I'm going to draw it out. Let's see. So I have a... Draw the fetus sitting on a pitchfork, yes. I have a fetus on a pitchfork. All right. <laughs> I mean, really, like, what... Uh, do we do we find out later what all these symbols mean? Yep, we do. I'm really curious to find yep. out what that is, because if it's well, not a fetus on a pitchfork, what the frick? <laughs> <laughs> well, they actually, um, they, some of it you can actually just learn straight. Oh, not that one. Oh, yeah, here, well. there's, this is a journal. You, this is one of the, oh, that's weird. North of the mill, south of the brook. I don't think that wasn't there before. I don't know. Oh, anyway. see, it's one of those games that changes every time you play. It, no, it does. It, you, uh, like, you Ooh. have to play through it. You have to play through it once to get all of the answers to unlock everything else. And then it's like, you have to start a game over again. And then go back and answer all these things. So the second time you play, you'll actually have the answer to username uh. and password. But we don't have those yet. You get those at the end. Ah, uh, okay. There's there's two parts to this game. The first part is the year walk and it's in the past. And then there's a little bit of time travel for the second half. It's it's confusing. You'll see what I mean. Um, so yeah, this thing you can't... Oh, snap. Um, and there's like all over the timeline. Yeah. There is a, um encyclopedia at the top that's just there automatically... And it's got, um, this was actually one of my favorite parts yeah. of the game. Because, yeah, it's got, like, this tells you, it gives you details about what the year walk was. And, yeah, it's it's full of different mythology, and I love it. Okay, it was Sweden. It was in Sweden. And this was practiced, the year walk was practiced until um, kind of the beginning of the 1800s. And it looks like <laughs> in some places it ran into the 1900s. Uh, it was practiced for over a thousand years, which is kind of cool. Oh, that's right. I forgot. You're like super in history. <laughs> I, I love, well, yeah, like history and then especially anything that has to do with like supernatural stuff. And also my grandparent, like my mom's basically the entire side of my mom's family is Swedish. So, <laughs> ah, so this game is like catering to you. <laughs> yeah. Like my grandpa's entire family was Swedish. Um, and then my grandma's family was from England. So yeah. A little bit of history. Yeah. So, yeah, this this kind of tells you, you know, you had to... There were only certain days a year when you could actually do a year walk, um, which was like May Day, uh, Midsummer's Eve, or Christmas Eve. It was... It started as a pagan ritual, so it's very much associated with, like, the solstices and stuff. Oh, cool. Um, and it says if you started a year walk, you couldn't stop. You, like, you had to see it through to the end. Whoa. So it's like end of year walk or bust. Yeah. Uh, the church was where the destination was the final destination um, for the ritual. Uh, the walker would typically encounter a number of supernatural creatures, which would pose a threat physically, mentally, and spiritually. So you would get your shit fucked up if you didn't do it right. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well, that's fine. That's a, that's a laundry list of what could possibly go wrong. Yup. If a year walker made it to the cemetery, they'd walk around the church in a pattern that would open their eyes to the future and would also lure out the church grim, which was a spirit that kind of, I don't think it was necessarily evil. It just kind of hung out in the church, I guess. I don't, I don't really know. I think it was a spirit that was supposed to kind of be like a, like, Hey, I'm just, just here. Yeah. I don't know if it was supposed to protect the church or what. I think. Well, I want to say like grim. I don't know. Oh no! You know what? I think ah, uh, for some reason I want to say that they used to bury a goat under the church for good luck. I what? don't. Right. Yeah, because the goat, the grim is a goat-like creature. So anyway, after they did all that, they'd see kind of visions of the future. Um, and there was a there was a mental patient who said that. They went on a year walk that was successful, but they were also insane. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it varied from village uh, to village yeah, and stuff. Just and don't. Yeah, here's the church, Grim. Okay. 
So this is the guy that you're ultimately trying to find. He's the one who shows you the future. Um, and it says he was that seems feared. Kind of creepy. It was bad luck to speak about it. Um, oh, I guess it didn't always look like a goat. It just looks like a goat here. Yeah, here we go. It's creepy. When a church was built in medieval times, an animal was sometimes buried alive under the floors. Most All commonly right. goats. Um, Sounds like a cult. Yeah. So, oh yeah, it guarded the church against thieves and grave robbers. I don't blame that. I, you know what? If I was like a, a grave robber or a thief or what have you, if I saw that thing at the door, I'd be like, <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope, right on out of there. It's like, you know what? This church this, this church is fine. I, I'll go to the one down near the parish or something. Because that's just like, no. <laughs> And there was also, there was, if you, <laughs> if you were able to touch the church grim's heart, then you could stare into the eye of creation. So yeah, you didn't want to mess with this guy. Like actually touch his heart or be like, oh, that's No, so actually emotional. touches, like physically touch his heart. And it gets creepier. All right, then. You're, yeah, I told you, it's, it's kind of dark. <laughs> uh, up, up here, you'll see, uh, you'll, you'll see that, that fetus shape. Oh, yeah, fetus. So Missing in the pitchfork, though. Yes. So these are these are some these refer to different creatures um, from Swedish folklore, and you actually have to watch for these symbols throughout the game, and that's going to tell you like what you need to do. So, like a lot of them hmm, are carved okay. on the like a lot of them are like carved on the trees, like we saw with the fetus. And I, of course, being the nerd that I am, read all about all of these, so <laughs> I can fill you in as we go because I'm awesome, and that way you don't have to listen to me read all of this. <laughs> 